So I was watching a porn video the other day. Oh, excellent. That's a great way to begin that. <laughs> and um, yeah, no, it was one where like it starts off with the performers just like kind of shooting the shit. And it's like, I, I kind of like that. Like you get to hear a little bit of the real. Well, in theory, it's the real. Or we all know they're, they're still performative even when they're pretending yeah. not to be. Um, but like it was like it wasn't an act. It was like this is like it's just some conversation before the act. Yeah. Uh, sort of thing. far enough away from the from the flute playing vagina um it gets us to a bill that bans science in montana huh okay i'll take it yeah so uh draft bill sponsored by republican state senator daniel emrick would effectively destroy science classes through the uh through the state by requiring them to teach scientific fact and nothing else uh, because he, he apparently so what is a scientific fact as, as opposed to a theory um, okay so he says a scientific fact is observable and repeatable well scientific theory is purely speculative so this is where like i on my channel years ago i basically stopped correcting the like theory versus fact thing unless the creationist brought it up explicitly um, because it's just one of those things that, like, it's so basic. It's literally just, like, look up the fucking definition. That's not what and it means. It's just so basic. Except we have this shit happening still, yeah. therefore. And then I see this, and I'm like, do I need to still do that? Do I need yeah. to still waste time being like, hey, a, a theory is actually an explanation for a body of facts and observations and stuff like that? We got to remember is that, like, so in an ideal world, everybody who you present to on your channel knows this stuff like in an ideal world yeah they know this at, at a base level the reality is the purpose of content like yours and content like mine largely is to outreach beyond the people who do know that at a base level yeah that's so actually one, one of my favorite things about my shorts is that they are because it's a new format and it's actually reaching like the, the people that watch my regular videos, that's largely my core audience. They're the people that watch all the all the videos, all the same things. Um, and, you know, they're, they're, they basically agree with me. Like, most of the people that watch my videos are people that agree with me. My shorts, mm -hmm. I've been noticing they get a lot more comments that disagree with me. You and, and me both. So my, it's like, um... okay, the shorts are how I reach the new audience. And maybe they'll, maybe something will pique their interest and they'll click on a link and actually see one of the longer videos. It, it took me about a month of uploading shorts before I started noticing that trend on my end as well. We're like, I would do a short on like Matt Walsh and then a bunch of his fanboys would come in or short on Andrew yeah. Tate and a bunch of his fanboys would come in. Andrew and Tate. like, look, I don't want to think about that part of him, um, but <laughs> no, it's not that part of him. It's that he is entirely taint. He is the, he is the taint. He, he is the human personification of a taint. I would just say he just taints everything. The minute you want to say like something positive about masculinity, somebody goes, "Oh, what about Andrew Tate?" Like, Haha, not him. Go people, away. Wait, people bring him up when you suggest positive max masculinity. Yes, there Ooh. are there are people. So the 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 perception of him. Okay. Uh, so since we're speaking about Andrew Tate and positive masculinity, I'm gonna drink some nuts out of my dark matter cup. There you go. Just drink some some good nuts. Um, but no, the, the perception of him to people who are not, uh, to people who don't, like, understand the shit that he's doing, that it's all, like, misogyny and MLMs and stuff like that, like, people who don't realize that on the surface, they see Andrew Tate as a healthy, successful businessman whose goal it is to make other people healthy, successful businessmen in a world where feminism has tainted discourse that's that is largely the opinion of him within like the manosphere circles that tend to feature him very positively only reason i know this is a combination of going down those rabbit holes myself for the content i've been making recently and also the fact that his fucking fans have told me that in my comments like that's that's the view of him within that sphere of the internet so like for you and me we see him and we're like, oh, look, a disgusting piece of human being who allegedly is a human trafficker. Uh, most you mean other allegedly? Are... Doesn't he get arrested for that? Well, I suppose until the trial. 
until the until the trial. It's still allegedly. until the trial, um, and allegedly a sex trafficker, and allegedly a rapist, and allegedly the list goes on. Um, totally like we see, we see that person. And we're like, yeah, no. There's this laundry list of reasons why this is a scummy piece of shit. But somebody in that in that manosphere who like watched a bunch of Joe Rogan clips and then found themselves on that side of the internet, they see people like him and Jordan Peterson as people to aspire to, whereas we see them as jokes. So. I was watching a porn video the other day. Oh, excellent. That's a great way to begin that. <laughs> and, um, yeah, no, it was one where, like, it starts off with the performers just, like, kind of shooting the shit. And it's like, I, I kind of like that. Like, you get to hear a little bit of the real. Well, in theory, it's the real. Or we all know they're, they're still performative even when they're pretending not yeah. to be. Um, but, like, it, was, like, it wasn't an act. It was, like, this is like, just some conversation before the act uh, yeah. sort of thing. And um, so one of, the, one of the women brings up is, like, they start joking about Andrew Tate, and um, and uh, when, like they they start talking about how like oh well you know he, he says some controversial stuff but like he's just like he's just joking around when that stuff and like okay that's I know that that's the regular defense is that like anytime he says anything extreme that is obviously yikes that was a joke wink wink but then mm-hmm. they follow that up with like oh but he's actually got some really good ideas I'm like. Nope. Which ones? I, 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 nothing. Nothing else about this video matters. I cannot. I cannot complete the act with that knowledge in my head. So, like, exit. That's that one's done. I. I would have. I, always... I would have rather watched two girls, one cup. Unironically, back when I was vice president of Computer Club in high school, I actually had two videos uh, saved onto a, an SD card. Uh, and my, my Wii was hacked, still is hacked. I still have the same Wii. Uh, and it can play videos off of the SD card. That's mm-hmm. one of the things that the Wii was apparently capable of, so long as you modded it to do it. Yep. Um, the two videos were meant to get everybody's attention during meetings when everybody was doing their own shit. Um, video one was Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up. That was the one for <laughs> playing in school. Uh, but if we were at a friend's house or my house or wherever, and we needed to have a meeting that was off campus, the video that played was Two Girls, One Cup. Nice. Either way, it did its job. It always did its job. Yep. <laughs> Shut that shit off. Are you paying attention? Cool. I can. <laughs> um, but no, like I, whenever somebody does that whole like, hey, Andrew Tate actually has a whole bunch of good points. The follow-ups always, okay, but which ones? Like wh- which good points does he have? And when he says those good points, is he doing the Jordan Peterson thing where he says something that, like, you kind of want to agree with, but the way he says it enables literally the worst fucking people in the entire world? Well, I've, I've said it before, but, like, Jordan Peterson, the, the 12 Rules for Life, if you go through that book and just read the, head, the, the chapter titles, it's actually decent advice. It's just Until as soon you as you get the past book? the chapter titles, it's like, oh, no, this is not good. <laughs> Well, he recently went over his, uh, he has he has this speech, this like whole diatribe he goes on to with Joe Rogan about being a monster. And his verbiage is like, you should be a monster and then learn how to control it. That's how to how to be a guy. And I'm like, uh, no, you should have a monster in your pocket. You should have the ability to defend people around you that matter. And it sounds like a penis, I know. It also sounds that's, like a Pokemon. That's what I thought you were talking about, actually. Um, <laughs> But it's like I like I understand the point you're trying to make is that people should have the ability to defend themselves and the people they love. That's the point you're trying to make. But when you say the lines, you should be a monster and control it, that sounds like you're asking people to take on that monstrous persona as part of their identity. And that's how you create people who do shit like join the Unite the Right rally. Like yeah. versus people who are willing to exercise that part of themselves by going to a protest. That's a different thing. It's a manifestation of the same thing, but the way you communicate that message is very fucking telling. Anyway, we're talking about science class. We were. So what I like. So this this is a Hemant meta article, and so he immediately goes to like when talking about difference between theory and fact, he immediately goes to that's nonsense, of course, since the theory of evolution and climate change, just to name two examples, have mountains of evidence supporting them to the point where they're foregone conclusions, but they could theoretically be discredited by evidence to the contrary. So this is where, like, I see where I see what he's doing, but like he picked two theories that like those are the ones that they don't want to teach. Those are the those are the targets of this bill. So, like, go with something that they can all agree with, like the theory of gravity. You agree that gravity is a thing, right? Because that's a theory. 
they decided to go with this. That just what was it? What was it? Texas or was it Arkansas? Like two years ago, that tried to get the flood myth brought into like the actual school curriculum. I don't remember which one it was. I, I don't recall. It it could have been either. Honestly, I can um, tell you though that um, growing up, I thought that Arkansas and Arkansas were two different states. They're not. Because Arkansas is spelled Arkansas. Arkansas, but, not not Kansas. But but it's all our Kansas, just like Japan is our Japan, and and the United Kingdom is our United Kingdom. Everything's America, Rhino. You're in our Canada. Yeah, you said urine. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> our Kansas. No, you're not. Don't lie. You're right. I'm not. I'm sorry for I'm sorry for lying. No, you're not. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Don't shake your tits at me, young man. <laughs> I tried to just shake my head, but it doesn't work that way. The hair sways. <laughs> you're just trying to shake your head, no, but it comes across as a sexy. <laughs> so, like, the reason it does that is the only thing that controls the entire model is my face and facial expressions. So, like. <laughs> When I try just to shake my face, the entire body goes with it because my face is the thing puppeting the entire rig. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> I can't help it. Get a, I was get made a better this rig. way. Get a better rig. I was drawn this way. Okay, so the NCSE uh, National Science for, National Center for Science Education uh, pointed out that the draft would or that this legislation would fly in the face of the state's own current standards, which uh, state um, the two theories, like it, it specifically ex gives examples of the Big Bang Theory and the theory of plate tecton tectonics as theories that are currently taught. And like, that's like, those are examples of things that would be taught to meet the standards. It was like, so if this bill passes, then they, their science standards are out the window. And, um, I still want to know what the fuck a science fact is. Okay, Hemant, this isn't your best work, man. He says, the irony is that people who challenge science are usually people who believe mythology is the best replacement for it. Yes, that's that's the point. Like, that's not ironic. That's the goal. They they, they don't believe in the science. They want to replace it with the mythology. That's I mean, just that's the, that's just the goal. Had, just don't say it out loud. That's the reason we've had, like, what, at least three separate supreme court trials about these kinds of education standards in the united states and they always tend to revolve around either creationism or they'll they'll reword it was it was it creationism first and then was reworded into uh into something design? else it was intelligent design and creationism and one of them came first and it was literally they reworded everything that was creationism into intelligent design or the other way around. I can't remember. Creationism came first. Intelligent design was the one that went to trial in Kitzmiller versus Dover. And so, like, even now, like, if, if you, um, like, oh, what's his face? I did a video about him recently. Michael Behe. If you mm -hmm. talk to Michael Behe, he'll tell you that he accepts evolution. He believes in common descent. He just thinks that, like, evolution was guided by God. Like, you can't explain evolution without god in his opinion but Except he believes in evolution we... and he will tell you that like no i am not a creationist i just believe in intelligent design and people have latched on to that wording and they ignore the fact that he believes in evolution like my favorite is that like uh michael behe and ken miller both diametrically opposed on this issue um ken miller is the guy that took behe's mousetrap analogy and he's like well if i take the uh if i take the uh the 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 trigger bar thing whatever off a mousetrap it might not work as a mousetrap but here i can use it as a tie clip sort of thing so like ken miller has provided counter examples to michael behe's example um, hmm. but they are they are both catholic and it's really fun to read about them on answers in genesis website because like aig will like when they're talking about michael behe right up at the top of the article it's the catholic evolutionist michael b or no not michael b uh the other one ken miller like when talking about ken miller is the catholic evolutionist ken miller and when they're talking about michael behe it's like three quarters of the way down the article they briefly mention oh yeah he's catholic and he wrote his book proving that god needs to, like demonstrating that you need to explain god or like how how this could happen without god in terms of evolution and like that's like his being catholic means that he believes in the same god as us but that's like three quarters of the way down the article but like with the guy they disagree with they put it right up at the top he's catholic ah just 
And it's like, can we, and they, they can use we the term Catholic evolutionist. Trial, you know, the term Catholic evolutionist applies equally to both of them. But it just depends on which way they want to spin it. Mm -hmm. I was going to say this right now. We should just call it the tabloid AIG. <laughs> yeah. I can drink more nuts. I don't know. Got my Dark Matter 2525 mug. Oh. Never mind. I need to catch up on the Power Corrupt series. Yeah, I haven't. More. Actually, I say I need to catch up on it. I just need to restart that series from the beginning and, and get up to where it is right now. Because, like, it's it's a good fucking series. It is. And, when like, once you forget what's happened, it's like you can't go back in the middle. You have to. It's a, well, because it's a very layered series. And it is not told in chronological order. No, no, it's not. Anyway.